Hello there. In the last video we talked about the difference between the normal and standard normal distributions. In this video we're going to talk about how to apply these to real world contexts. So let us first assume that the heights of females are normally distributed with a mean of 70.2 70 inches and a standard deviation of 3.8 inches. How do we find probabilities associated to the heights of females? So as a first example, let us assume we're interested in the probability that a randomly selected female has a height that is larger than 63.8 inches. So I'm going to begin by finding the z-score for 63.8. So the z-score for 63.8 is going to be equal to 63.8 minus the mean 70.2 divided by the standard deviation of the distribution 3.8 which is going to be approximately equal to negative 1.6842. So if that is true, then that means this probability is the same thing as found the probability that the z-score for x is larger than or equal to negative 1.6842. So this is just an area under the standard normal distribution. So that means this is going to be equal to the integral from negative 1.6842 to positive infinity of the standard normal distribution with respect to z. So let's find out what this integral is. So I'm going to do the integral from negative 1.6842 up to infinity and I'm just going to call infinity uh, 10,000 for this. And that's going to be n of z dz. So 0.9539. So what if I'm interested in the finding the probability that x is less than 65.1 inches? So again, I'm going to start by finding the z-score for 65.1. So it's going to be 65.1 minus 70.2 over the standard deviation of 3.8. And that's approximately equal to negative 1.3421. So that means this probability is the same thing as finding the probability the z-score for x is less than negative 1.3421 which can be found by finding the integral from minus infinity to negative 1.3421 of the standard normal distribution. And it's negative infinity to the z-score because we're talking about the less than of that value. So let's figure out what that is. So it's going to be the integral from minus infinity. So I'm going to call that, again, 10,000. And our z-score that we're going to is going to be negative 1.3421 of the standard normal distribution. So we get 0 0.0898. And just as another example, let us assume we want to find the probability uh, that the randomly selected female has a height that is in between 63.8 inches and 65.8 inches. So I'm going to start by finding the z-scores for each of them. Uh, but we've already done so. Uh, maybe. Ah, uh, no. Let's change that to 1 so that we can easily do so. So that means this is the same as the probability that the z-score is in between negative 1.6842 less than x less than negative 1.3421. So if we were to draw a picture for this, what is it exactly that we're finding? So we have negative 1.6842 and negative 1.3421. Definitely not drawn to scale, but just trying to give us a, an idea here. So I'm just trying to find the area under this curve where this curve is n of z. 
So this is going to be equal to the integral from negative 1.6842 to negative 1.3421. Yeah, this area is actually more so uh, like right here. Because since both are negative in this middle is usually traditionally written as zero. Of n of z dz. All right, so let's figure what that is. So it's going to be the integral from, let's see, negative 1.6842 up to negative 1.3421 of the normal distribution n of z dz so 0 0.0437 let's do another example so example 2 uh, let's assume that the systolic blood pressure, which I'll just abbreviate by SBP for females, is 125.2 millimeters of mercury with a variance of 106. 0.3 squared milligrams of mercury. So if this is the type of scenario that's given to you, and we can interpret this by saying mu is equal to 125.2, and sigma is going to be equal to just the square root of 106.3 or 10.31. And of course, both of these are going to be in millimeters of mercury. All right, so let's do some probabilities with this. So what is the probability that a randomly selected person or female has a systolic blood pressure that is going to be bigger than 140? Uh, and this number is um, particularly important. This is what we refer to as having uh, hypertension because normal is somewhere around 120, above 120 is typically high, uh, but above 140, that's usually a dangerous uh, point to have. So I'm gonna first off start off by finding the z-score for 140. So z of 140 is gonna be equal to 140 minus the mean, 125.2, over the standard deviation of 10.31, which is approximately equal to 1.4355. So this problem is going to be the same as finding the probability that z of x is going to be bigger than 1.4355, which is written as an integral as the integral 1.4355 to infinity of the standard normal distribution with respect to z. So let's find out what that area is. So that's going to be the integral from 1.4 to something arbitrarily large. And this is one of the reasons why we use the standard normal and not just the normal distribution because we can just use the same exact distribution, just find the z-scores to get our limits and we can get the probabilities here. So that's one of the advantages. So we get 0 0.0756, 0 0.0756. So there's a about 8% chance that if we select a randomly selected female from wherever, uh, that they're going to have hypertension. Uh, so let's assume we're interested in the probability that X is going to be less than 90. So this is what we call hypotension, so low blood pressure. So what's the probability that we select a random female? Uh, and their blood pressure is less than 90, or they have hypertension, uh, hypotension. So let's find the z-score for this. So the z-score for 90 is going to be equal to that value minus the mean divided by the standard deviation, 
which is approximately negative 3.4142. So that means this is the same as finding the probability of the z-score for a particular value. It would be less than negative 3.4142. And we can already see that, you know, this z-score is farther from the mean than the hypertension cutoff value. So we can already realize that the likelihood of getting hypotension, if we select a random female, is going to be lower than the probability of having hypertension. Alright, so if we write this as an integral, this is going to be the integral from minus infinity up to negative 3.4142 of our standard normal distribution and then we can find out what this value is. So this is going to be the integral from minus infinity, so I'm going to call that 10,000 again, up to our z-score, negative 3.4142 of our standard normal distribution, so n of z dz. So point zero 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 three approximately. And let's do one last uh, problem. Because both of these scenarios are actually bad for the health, right? So you may be wondering what's the probability of having hypertension or hypotension or hypertension. So of course these are mutually exclusive events, so this is just the probability of having hypotension plus the probability of having hypertension. And that's because they are mutually exclusive events. You can't have both at the same time. So that means this is going to be the interval over the region of hypotension of our standard normal distribution, n of z dz plus the integral over the region of having hypertension of the DC. So we've already found these two integrals. Uh, so the first one is going to be 0 0.0003 approximately, plus the probability of having hypertension is going to be 0 0.0756. So the probability of having heart problems in general is going to be approximately equal to 0 0.0759. Uh, which as a percent is equal to 7.59% uh, chance. So if we were to randomly select a female uh, from a population that has these means and standard deviations for SDP, SBP, then there's a likelihood about 8% that this selected person has a blood problem, either having hypertension or hypotension, a blood pressure problem. And that's pretty much how to use uh, the normal and standard normal distributions and z-scores to find probabilities of normally distributed random variables.